We've all had them. The kind of week that leaves you counting down the hours till Friday. The same people milling by every single day. The same small talk. The same meaningless tasks and soul deadening deadlines. Even the temperature seems fixed. In a moment of escapism, I began daydreaming of a place forgotten by time. Apparently, it was again time to get away. One of the great things about the city of Suzhou is that it has a special way of taking what was once old and making it new again. Two thousand years ago, Suzhou was one of the four main arteries along the Silk Road. Today, it remains one of the silk capitals of the world. And just as old silk is being spun in you, old houses in Suzhou are being put to new and innovative uses. Han Linjiao was one of Southeast China's wealthiest merchants, and the place where I'm sitting right now was once his home. It's also one of Suzhou's architectural icons, and it is today, as it must have been those 250 plus years ago, an incredibly relaxing place to be. The Pingjiang Lodge, like many of the homes in Suzhou's old quarter, had been converted to other uses. In this case, a hotel. A hotel with 42 rooms, each of which has its own distinct character. While I'm here touring the city, I'm going to try just a few of them. See which one I like best. And on my first evening at Pingjiang Lodge, I have chosen the boat room. For the small fortune of 2,800 renminbi, you can live in the antiquated splendor of a Qing Dynasty room. All in its original wood with a nice Suzhou silk comforter to sleep in, which is what I am going to do right now. Mm. Good night. Mm.